OK, so let's remind ourselves of the Scrum process flow and highlight the stages where the Scrum Master is most wanted and stages where he could stay away if the Scrum team is functioning properly. The process flow, it's all on one slide, and here it is. The process starts when the product owner creates the product backlog. That is, a list of all the features and functions and requirements that might be needed in the final product of the project. It's a prioritized list. The items with the highest business value have high priority. Low value add-on functionality has low priority. And the Scrum Master helps the product manager here by offering unbiased comments and representing the development team on the prioritization of the product backlog items. The Scrum team get together in a sprint planning meeting and decide what items in the product backlog they can work on and complete during the next time period. This list of items is called the Sprint Backlog. And here, the Scrum Master needs to make sure the development team are not pressurized by the product owner to take on more work than they can accomplish in the Sprint time box. On the other hand, he needs to help the product owner maximize the number of product backlog items completed in each sprint. The development team immediately set to work completing the items in the sprint backlog in a set time frame called a sprint. Every day during the sprint, the development team meet in a short 15 minute stand up meeting called the daily scrum to discuss their individual progress, synchronize their activities, identify any issues that will stop them from working and plan for the work to be completed in the next 24 hours. Now the development team is self-organizing, so in theory, the Scrum Master is not included in these daily meetings. Unless he needs to intervene because the progress is slow, or there's disharmony in the team, or just that the daily 15-minute meetings are not effective, then he needs to step in and make things right. Towards the end of the sprint, the development team demonstrate to the product owner and other stakeholders the output of the work they've done during the current sprint and all previous sprints. They demonstrate the latest increment of the product. This event is called the Sprint Review and it's the Scrum Master that facilitates the event. After the Sprint Review, the Scrum team get together and discuss what went well and what didn't go so well in the last few weeks and make plans to include process improvements in the next sprint. That's the whole Scrum team, the product owner, the Scrum Master and the development team. And again, usual practice is for the Scrum Master to facilitate this event. And all the while during the sprint, the product owner, supported by the Scrum Master, reviews the latest product increment and the potential business value and refines the product backlog in preparation for the next iteration or sprint. And the process begins again. So there you have it, a typical Scrum process. And looks like the Scrum Master needs to keep his finger on the pulse the whole time, right? And it looks like the Scrum Master keeps busy, supporting the product owner with a product backlog, sprint planning, and developing the sprint backlog, the sprint review, and the sprint retrospective. How does he manage all that? Well, we'll see in the upcoming videos.